Welcome to the BYU Family History Library. This video is the third in a three-video series about the 10 ScanPro 3000 microfilm and microfiche scanners located in the library. The ScanPro scanners are at stations numbered from 49 to 59. All these scanners have fully functional software and can be used to scan individual microfilm images, automatically scan a full roll of microfilm, and scan microfiche. This video, the third in the series, will help you learn how to scan microfiche. Many of the operations are the same for all three uses, but each of the three videos focuses on its particular use. The first video in this series explains how to scan individual microfilm images. The second video covers the autoscan function that works only for microfilm. If you wish to use all these functions, please view all three videos. You can ask for additional help from the student staff at the reference desk. Your first step will be to turn on the ScanPro, unless it is already on. If you can see a small green light on the front of the machine, it is on. The switch is located on the bottom back of the machine. If you are going to save scanned images, you will need to insert a flash drive and have it ready when you save your scanned images. You may also save the images to the computer and then upload the images to online storage such as Dropbox or Google Drive. Please be aware that the computers in the BYU Family History Library are reset each night and anything you save directly on the computer will be lost. You should also be aware that scanning multiple images may require a considerable amount of storage capacity. Please check your flash drive before you leave to make sure your images have been stored. You can contact the student employees if you need help with saving the files. Next, log on to the BYU Family History Library portal. When the BYU Family History Library portal webpage appears on your screen, double-click on the red PowerScan 3000 icon. If you get the following error message, the scanner is not turned on. When the program opens on your computer, you will see the Film Wizard window, where you are asked to click on the picture that matches the film that you intend to use. Choose the appropriate format of the microfilm roll or microfiche. For this demonstration, I will be using a microfiche, so I will click on the icon for a microfiche. If you think you've made a mistake in the format you have selected, you can select Film Selection Wizard in the top left-hand corner of the screen to go back. Slowly pull out the viewing surface as far as it will go to load the microfiche. Make certain that the glass panes are centered in the open area before you lift to avoid bumping the glass. The microfiche is loaded with the top to the back of the scan tray and face down. Slide the carrier back until it stops. Here is a close-up showing the microfiche loaded and centered over the bright light. You can physically move the images around on the screen by slowly pulling the view screen in and out. It also moves from side to side. Take some time to orient the images so that you are viewing them in the correct sequence. The first image on a microfiche is usually in the top left-hand corner. The green outline that appears on the screen image indicates that portion of the image that will be copied to your storage device or the computer. The button icons on the left side of the screen control various functions of the scanning process. There are four tabs that help with specific functions. Please refer to the card at each station for a complete description of each button's function. As stated earlier in this video, the Film Selection Wizard button takes you back to the Film Selection page of the program. First are the Adjust Image Buttons. This list of buttons provides functions for making the microfiche images more readable. 
The ones you might use most are the Film Orientation button and the Auto Adjust button. The Zoom, Rotate 90 Degrees, and Manual Straighten buttons are useful for smaller incremental adjustments. The Brightness, Contrast, and Focus buttons may also help in making the image more readable. The Magnifier button is helpful when the text in the image is hard to read. The last button on the list, the previous Next button, is self-explanatory. It is used to scroll through microfilm images and does not apply to microfiche. The research buttons are a duplicate of some of the adjust film buttons. The only button that is different is the scan to merge clips button. This allows you to combine, arrange, and size scans to a single file, plus adding an annotation. The fourth tab is reserved for the setup of the program and is password protected and not open to library patrons. Remember that more detail about the operation of the ScanPro 3000 can be found on the cards located at each unit. The Print Scan buttons help you choose a location for storing your scans or printing out what has been scanned. There are buttons for scanning a single image and for the Optical Character Recognition, or OCR, function for some documents. There is also a button for using the Auto Scan feature, which only works with a roll of microfilm. You then click the Scan button and begin the scanning process. Again, please make sure that your images have been stored on your flash drive or in your own online storage. Remember that the computers are reset each night and no images stored directly on the computers will be saved. If you have any questions about finding images that may have been saved to the computer or saving your images either on a flash drive or online, please ask for help at the Student Reference Desk. When you are finished with the microfiche, return the microfiche to the reshelving desk. Thanks for watching.